What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through this smoky, navy, glittery party look step by step. I am so in love with this look. The people at the gym are going to be well, they're gonna be doing nothing if <laughs> they don't give a shit. But this look is so perfect for a holiday party. It's great for New Year's. It's great for grocery shopping and going to the gym, which is what I'm gonna be wearing this look to. But I am just so happy with the way that this look turned out. I am probably gonna be recreating this for New Year's because this is just like right up my alley and it's different at the same time. I just love this. So I walk you through it step by step. I wanna give just a quick little heads up using matte blues are very very tricky for whatever reason navy is just like one of the hardest colors to work with so before you even get started give yourself more than enough time to create this look if you want to recreate it because if you end up coming across an obstacle or you have a hiccup then you don't have to stress about getting ready on time you don't have to stress about your eyeshadow not being blended because you've given yourself more than enough time to get ready also work um, in smaller sections and little by little rather than like going for it like you would with like warm browns or something So just keep that in mind and then worst case scenario slap some glitter over it and you're good to go So I hope that my tips and tricks are helpful. I'm gonna break this down for you walk you through it step by step by step I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so to begin I'm using the vanish primer from hourglass. This is just my favorite and I just have it sitting here. I feel like it just feels really good on my skin. Mm. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Chanel Revitalizing Foundation. This has just been my favorite. And I'm gonna use it with a Fox 4 brush. I'm gonna start with one pump and go from there. Get the other side. And then with whatever's left over on my brush, I'll hit up top on my forehead and then get the nose. Look at how warm my ears are. I'm hot and it's 68 in my house. We normally keep it like just really cold. <laughs> and um, both Ruben and myself run very, very warm. So the fact that it's 68, it's just, it's a little warm in here for me. <laughs> Um, okay, and now I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath concealer, and I'm actually gonna be using my FO3 brush from Sigma today because I did not wet my beauty blender, and the other day I did the same thing, and I used the brush, and I just love it. I love going through phases of just using different things, um, or like going back and forth between favorites, because this is like all I used for like years. And then I've just been on a beauty blender kick the last few months. And so it's just kind of fun to go back and forth and play around with different favorites. And then I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury cream contour. Um, let me know your recommendations for other cream contour products that you think that I would like because I just feel like I end up using the same stuff all the time. Like if I'm not going to use this cream contour, I'm going to use the nude sticks one because I really like that one. Um, and if I'm not going to use that, it would be the Fenty one. But that one I realized is like way too glowy for me. I do like it to not be so glowy. So I don't know. Let me know your favorites. Um, cause I'm just stuck in using the same stuff and I need to Maybe I'll do like a makeup haul at the beginning of the year because I think that that would be fun. Just still a nice little fresh start. Try some new things. Ooh, you know how I was just saying that it's a little bit warmer in my house? <sighs> this product is blending so nicely because it's so warm in here. Ooh, yeah. Perks of having it warmer. Although to some people, I'm sure 68 is actually pretty cold. Yeah, to me it's a sauna here. Also, just don't mind my extension. It's um just popping out lately. <laughs> I'm due for uh, an extension move up next week, but it's been doing this for like the last couple of weeks. I think my hair just like grew really fast or something. I don't know. The nose. Okay, I'm going into the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm gonna use my little powder poof. Get under the eyes. Also get the forehead, the chin, 
under the contour here. And then I usually like to go in with just a powder bronzer just to do kind of like a once over all over. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I like doing this to just kind of blend out any edges, especially like here on the cheeks. Just go over it and then I'll do the jaw, which then kind of shows me, do I need to go over like this area? Cause sometimes I'll brighten it up with the powder and it gets too bright. So that kind of just helps me with that. For my highlighter today, I wanna to use this one from MAC. It is the Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. It looks like this, it's been so long since I've used this highlighter. So I'm gonna pick it up on my Fox 5 brush and apply this to the cheekbones. It kind of gives like that silvery, glossy look, which will be great with what we use on the eyes. Get my finger. Ooh, that is intense. Okay, and then for blush, I've got this one from Laura Mercier in the color Peach. And I'm gonna pop this on my cheeks with a 168 brush from MAC. This will really contrast the eyes nicely and kind of warm up the face because we'll be using a lot of cool tones on the eyes. And then I think that this will just give some nice warmth to the face. So I have not been loving my brows lately. Um, they've just been really intense and I couldn't figure out why, like what I was doing differently. And it's because I haven't been using shade three from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil and this is a brand new one. I forgot that I had this in my collection, but it is a little bit lighter than I would prefer all over my brows, but I like it for the front part of my brows and then going darker towards the tail. So I'm gonna use this and then we'll deepen it up if need be, but this is gonna help me get that front part to look the way that I want. And now it's time for eyeshadow. I'm so excited. I need to prime my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, the usual picking it up on my finger and applying it to the eyes. Ooh. With it being warmer, just everything is blending so nicely that just like melted onto my eyeball. So Amanda so kindly let me borrow this brand new eyeshadow palette of hers. I'm gonna take really good care of it because she has not used it yet. This is from Odin's Eye. It's the Christmas Eve palette and it is so beautiful. Both of the palettes that they came out with are just to die for. They're so unbelievably stunning. So I'm gonna keep that there. Um, this is what the palette looks like, just so gorgeous. So I will be using this today. And then there are a couple of other things that I'm thinking about using. I'm just gonna show you right off the bat. We'll see if we use everything. I grabbed my blue blueprint palette from Melt Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite palettes from them. I actually have the stack version of this, and this is brand new. They sent this over not that long ago, um, but it's the same thing as the stack. So I do have this as well. And then Amanda also let me borrow these single shadows that she has. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use this one and maybe this one to create this look today. So I'm so excited. Um, whatever I end up using, I will link down below. I'm gonna go into the Christmas Eve palette from Odin's Eye, and I believe I'm gonna first start with Ice Crystal, which is this shade up here. It's kind of just like a matte gray color. And start putting this in the crease area, outer V, and this will be the first shade that just kind of like maps out the whole look. Wow, this is actually a very unique shade because it's gray and blue at the same time and it's very light, but not too light. Like it's not highlighting for my skin tone. It is adding that color, but it's not too dark either. It's very unique. I've never come across a gray that looked like this before. Okay, I'm also gonna take that underneath the eye, taking my mirror above 
so I can access this area. Ooh, I should have looked at my eyebrows up close. We need to fix some things, hold please. Time to deepen this up a little bit. We're now gonna go into Nowhere, which is this deeper, almost like a purpley gray. And I'm gonna bring this on the outer corner and just start deepening up the look. Bring this in the crease. I'm gonna go back into the first color and blend this out. Ooh, that kind of created like a new shade, like a new little in-between color. Do you see that? Very pretty. Whatever's left over on this brush, I'm just gonna bring it underneath. I think I'm gonna go directly into Christmas Eve. I think that's the vibe. Right into Christmas Eve. Bring this on the outer corner. Just lay it flat. Okay, this color has a little bit of fallout, so we're gonna grab some face powder. Just dust that away really quick. And then kind of like load it on underneath so that if anything does fall, it'll be even easier to just dust it away. Laying it on the outer corner. Our lid. Okay, I think I'm now gonna go into the blueprint stack and grab Dim Out because I don't have anything that's exactly this shade. This is very, very bright cobalt. So I'm gonna grab this, really tap off the excess. Ooh! and just lay that on the eye. Oh yeah. And then whatever's left over on the brush, I'm gonna just start kind of working that lightly into the crease, very, very lightly, and very like intentionally placing it. So just lightly moving it up and then lightly moving it in. We're going somewhere. I love it. Bringing it up into here. <sighs> this is where it's messy and looking crazy, but we gotta just stick with it. <sighs> okay, I'm grabbing a neutral shadow. This is just from the Makeup by Mario palette. I'm just grabbing this color, mixing a little bit of that one and popping this up here just to neutralize up here because I don't want it to go like too icy blue all over. This will help blend it out, but it's like basically my skin color. So it kind of is blending this blue down without contributing too much to this whole like color scheme. Perfect. And that just kind of helped to fade out those outer edges without bringing like too much of like that gray iciness to like into the look even more. Um, okay, now what do I wanna do? So I'm gonna swatch a couple of different shadows so you can kind of see where my mind is. So the first one I'm gonna swatch is Blue Star, which is this color here. That's on my pointer finger. And then we've got this one from JD Glow. It's this one here. That is on this finger. It actually kind of goes a little green, which I'm surprised. And then this one, which is also from JD Glow, that is there. So these are the three colors that I'm kind of thinking for the lid. Maybe even Blue Ice from the Odin's Eye palette, this one right here. So these are the colors. So I'm actually really, really loving this one for the outer part of the lid and then probably this one for the inner part. I will show you what they are when I use them, but I think I've got it figured out. I am going to take my MAC 247 brush, I think it is, and I'm gonna pick up Blue Star, which is this color. It's a royal blue and purple shift. I'm gonna pick that up and grab a little bit of the Morphe setting spray and pop this on 
the center to outer part of the lid. Oh my gosh, you guys, holy shit, this is beautiful. So for this color, I'm definitely gonna be spraying it. That'll help with the fallout. Oh my gosh, such a unique color. It's a little bit more chunkier and glitty, glittery than the other ones. The other ones are glittery, but they're very like soft and silky. Oh my gosh, this all over the lid would be stunning. Um, I'm not gonna do that though, because I have a different look in mind, but for like a New Year's look, this all over, bitch. Swapping over into this one from JD Glow, flipping over my brush. I'm very lightly picking this up. I could also use my finger, but um, I'm gonna try this first. And I'm just gonna lay this on the top like this. Yes. Okay, and then I did add this one in. I kind of layered it with that lighter one just because I felt like it was too light to dark. So I kind of just took this and lightly pushed it all over that as well to kind of create a softer transition. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, before I potentially go in with a separate chunkier glitter, I wanna finish off um, with using these blues. So, cause right now I just feel like it looks so, it's beautiful, but like it just looks very unfinished and weird. And I think it's because I haven't done anything to the lower lash line and that's a problem. So I am gonna take my uh, Fox 3 brush. I'm going to go into Christmas Eve, which was that matte blue from the Christmas Eve palette. And whoop, let me get some of this fallout away. And I'm going to get right up at the lash line. I'm just going to kind of work with this color without going in with anything else at the moment because I'm kind of liking how it's blending. So I'm not blending down, I'm just blending at the lash line. Because if I blend down, it's going to carry it down too far. So I'm just kind of wiggling it where it's at. It's kind of just blending itself out, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to go in with whatever's left over on this little brush here that I used up on the top. And I'm very lightly gonna bring this underneath. Okay, I've got glitter all over my face. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with some powder and hopefully get some of this off. If not, whatever. I need like a navy in the waterline, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Makeup Forever uh, color pencil in eight, which is deep sea. It's a dark navy. And I'm gonna bring this in my uh, waterline. this look it's so pretty um highlight I need to highlight the brow bone and whatnot so I'm gonna go into my face highlighter and I'm gonna pick that up here on my brush and just pop that right in the inner corner and then bring this on the brow bone as well I'm gonna go into the MAC Diamond Crumbles Dazzle Shadow Liquid. This is so beautiful. It gives like a purpley, iridescent, blue kind of a color. So I think I'm just gonna pick this right up on here and just start dabbing it on the eyes because I want to really just intensify the glitter and make it a little bit chunkier. I'm almost kind of bringing it up to make the lid look bigger. Like that. I go into the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Just popped on these lashes from Velour. They're in the style Serendipity, one of my favorites. And now 
I'm just popping some mascara on the bottom lashes so that the top is nice and balanced. Now we're almost done with the look. It's time for lips. It feels like I've been filming for five hours, but it's only because the sun set while filming. It's like so dark outside. I'm not used to it. Um, especially when filming. Normally I just don't film at night. I don't know why. Um, well, I guess it's because I'm uh, very creative in the morning and during the day. And when the sun sets, I'm like, okay, time to go to bed. <laughs> so that's probably why. Um, but... It's time for lips. So I am going to go into Mount Cosmetics Bare Lip Pencil. It's a really beautiful nude. And I just overlined them and now I'm filling them in. Basically going to deepen up the edges with Cool Brown from Anastasia. And then a little bit of Sierra from Makeup by Mario. Last but not least, finally, I'm going to set everything with the Morphe setting spray. The look is finally done. I love this look this is a whole freaking vibe um let me turn the iso down really quick or the brightness sorry i just want you i'm hoping this isn't too dark but i just feel like when it's overexposed you can't appreciate it and now that the sun has set like i don't know what to do with my camera settings but i just feel like oh bitch yes the darker lighting just gives just gives it this, mm, mm, mm. Got my phone on so you could see it. Just like, do you see it? Just like the glitter just dancing. It's so freaking pretty. I love this. And now that I've zoomed out, I can see the window in the reflection of my mirror and it's kind of working with this. It's kind of a vibe. It's bringing in the like navy colors for this eye look and I'm loving it. I'm This worked out. Um, but yeah, this is so perfect for a holiday party. It's perfect for New Year's, whatever you want to wear it for. I would just recommend to just take your time. Give yourself like three hours to get ready. I know that's extreme, but if you want to do a fun look like this, give yourself more than enough time than you think that you're going to need so that you can spend the time working with those tricky colors. Like blue, I think is one of the hardest colors to work with. And if you give yourself more than enough time, then when slash if you mess up or or you kind of come to like an obstacle, then you, you can just breathe through it and just work it out and you don't have to stress about getting ready on time and then you don't have to stress about having like not blended eyeshadow or whatever. Worst case scenario, if it is not blended and you're having a hard time with those matte blues, just slap that glitter all over your eyes and you're good to go because glitter can cover up any mess up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please send me your looks if you end up recreating this. I would love to see what you come up with. This to me is very similar to the green look that I did. It's just kind of like the blue version. So I feel even if you got some inspo and you do different colors with this look i would love to see what you come up with so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying all of the videos i've been putting out this month uh please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye